Hey everyone, I'm Tim from UR6 Studios. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to use a green screen with Streamlabs OBS or just OBS in general. Coming up next in this OBS tutorial. So there are some things to take into consideration when you're using a green screen or even a blue screen on Streamlabs OBS. Now, one thing that I do have problems with is if I do not have an equal distribution of lighting, I'll actually have some problems using the chroma key setting on Streamlabs OBS. And what I'm talking about is I have this window behind me right now. When I have the light in from the day, it's different than the coloration from my lights that are just above me right now. The lights above me give off like a yellowish tint and the ones from the sun are more of a like a clear white light. So if you're looking at the background on my blue screen right now, when I'm streaming from the day to nighttime, I'm going to have to adjust the settings in Streamlabs OBS to reflect the difference in the lighting. Also, you need to take in consideration the distribution of lighting across your green screen. It's got to be equal from the top to the bottom to the left to the right. If one side is lighter than the other or one side is darker than the other the chroma key setting may not detect all of your green screen and half your green screen or blue screen will appear when you're streaming and the other will be cut out now the green screen i'm using is actually really cool this is a collapsible one i bought off of amazon and it just is about eight feet by about four feet and it works really well i can take it apart when i'm not streaming and i can just fold it up and this was about maybe $35, $40 off of Amazon.com. And if you're not going to be streaming all the time, it's nice to have something you can just put away afterwards. Okay, so I'm over on Streamlabs OBS at the moment. And I have my couple different scenes up here on the left-hand side. Now, under Sources, let's go ahead and find our webcam. So once we find our webcam, we're going to want to go ahead and right-click on it. And then open up this menu right here and then go to filters and select this option right now. Now go to the plus icon and then under filter type, we are going to want to find chroma key. There's a color key option here. We're not going to select that. We want chroma key. So I have found chroma key, select that and then go to done. And then it's going to open up this page. Now you're going to have two different color types, green blue or magenta so there's three different color types plus one custom type and for the custom type you can use literally any color you want uh, you just have to find the exact color it may be a little bit more difficult this way sometimes i get it wrong whenever i do this so you do have the option to put a custom color in here but i'm just going to go ahead and use green once we have the green background in we have some options in here to adjust the background just a little bit for the color and brightness so we can cut everything out so we have similarities we can use this as a slider it'll make it a little bit lighter in the background a little bit darker and i found that 439 with my lighting is working pretty good for this and then you also have a smoothness slider right here and as you can see when i go further to the right I actually fade into the background myself. As you can see, you can barely see me. I look like a ghost right now. So we can use this as a slider to align with the similarity. And I found that 64 with my lighting was pretty good. And as you can see in this big picture right here, you want your green screen, blue screen, or whatever kind of screen you're using to be completely one color and black. Uh, if you look by my arms right now, you can see a little bit of an outline, but it looks like the green screen in the background is flat black. There's no lighting affecting it at all, and that looks pretty good. And then you also have key color spill, and when you slide this to the right, you'll see that this gets really grayed out, and there's not a lot of color. So let's bring this back to how it just about was at about 100. And then you have opacity. This will pretty much give you that transparent effect also. Then you have a couple different options on here for contrast, brightness, gamma. So you can brighten up your webcam just a little bit. Usually my room is a little bit darker, so I like to use a little bit more gamma to brighten everything up. Once you have all your settings in there, go to done. 
And as you can see, I am actually fading into the background right now. Uh, maybe I could lower my contrast just a little bit. And sometimes you get this popping up where if you get too close or something, it'll display like some fuzz around you. So just a heads up, if you're too close to your webcam, you will get that effect. I don't know exactly why. And sometimes I like to take this microfiber cleaning cloth and I like to rub the webcam with it just in case there's any kind of fuzz or fingerprints on the webcam itself. And that will help get rid of some of that stuff in the background that uh, appears. So it's very important to have very good lighting with your green screen. Otherwise, you will have some problems with your cutout and your image. So just take some time, get your green screen set up, get your lighting set up. So this is very easy to set up on OBS and Streamlabs OBS. Add the chroma key setting and start broadcasting with a green screen. So I hope this video helped you out and gave you some ideas on how to use a green screen using Streamlabs OBS. If it did, please leave this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below for more Streamlabs OBS tutorials coming up next on Your Six Studios.